Yes, CB Radio freaks and fans, hello. I'm back after the long hot summer time. I'm back with a new video. I'm very happy here. I find on eBay this special radio. It's made or modified by Miller Electronics and the type is the ME485DX it's an all mode transceiver but this transceiver is not more than this modified Palomar radio this is the universe 5500 and in there is the absolutely similar PCB like here the ME485DX. Yes, uh, we will take a look and start the radio here on the USB on the lowest frequency here. This is the lowest possible uh, frequency 28680 and we can see this is a six digit frequent readout with a resolution of about 100 Hz and we will turn here on the flywheel knob up here and we can see it's a very slow gear here on the radio but it's very necessary then the frequency drift is very strong here on SSB that's a minus point here and now we go up here, this is the low band here, low band and uh, I think the band is closed here uh, we have about 7 o'clock in the morning here in Zurich, uh, Switzerland and I think uh, it's not more, uh, not many, not much traffic here on the frequency just here on the A band here this is a A channel here and uh, this is a babysitter electronic babysitter on 095 here normally here in Zurich okay we'll turn up the fly wheel knob here yes and this is the end frequency 27 one about 178 here and now we will change the band to the high and this is the highest possible frequency about 28015 MCs and we turn back the frequency down and now we are on the CB area uh, PLC here we have a uh, a little bit PLC um, intruders on AM here, also on FM. Oh wow, my ears. Okay, and uh, we'll go down to the lowest possible frequency here on the high band. Uh, yes. uh, a very slow gear. And now uh, I think yes here on one four five about twenty seven one four five is the lowest possible frequency on the high band. Yes. Um this is a noise blanker here, noise blanker switch C B P A switch. Oh what's up with my radio? Oh yes, and RF gain switch, band switch, and this here uh, is a switch uh, for linearity if you are on AM, if you are on AM with about 6 watts here you need a little bit compression and if you are on off position the modulation is very strong and compressed if you are on FM the power is about 10 watts 
output and the modulation is better if you are linear and on USB and LSB the uh, compressor switch is good on off position here on SSB. Yes, I'm very happy, it's a very good radio. And now we take a look in the open box here. Bye bye, see you later. Okay, and this is the soldering side of the Miller Electronics ME485. And this is the Palomar radio, uh, it's absolutely the same PCB in the box. It's absolutely the similar transceiver here. Okay. Okay, here I'm back. This is the open box of uh, the ME 485DX by Miller Electronic, and uh, uh, here we can see the frequency readout print, the digit driver here, and and this is the VFO part here and uh, we can see here that when I turn here on the fly width knob with the low gear this screw is moving very slowly here yes and uh, other modification uh, we can see this is the FM demodulator print here 7.8 megahertz IF and for the modulation FM modulation input we need just a track from the modulation from the AM modulation um, input directly to the loop of the PLL uh, synthesizer here and then we get uh, a good FM modulation here Okay, thank you very much for looking in my video and I've made a little Photoshop with this transceiver or other similar radios like this ME485. Bye bye, freaks.